Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're going over the season 3 finale of Legends of Tomorrow called The Good, The Bad, and The Cuddly. And we start off with um, Mollus uh, wants the totems and so Legends try to use the totems but it didn't work out right. So Rip says, um, so Sarah calls Rip and he's going to try to buy them some time and takes the time drive, or I like to say the temporal drive. It says goodbye to Gideon, then uh, Rip goes onto the field and sacrifices himself to buy them some time, and it just says goodbye to the legends that were comms and everything. And then we have the legends are feeling down about Rip and how they kind of, well, they did fail miserably about what they were trying to do. And so they decide they're going to try to hide the totems in the Old West. And um, so they go do that. And then Sarah talks to Dark. And then Ray is playing something stupid. And he's always trying to do something. And then we have Sarah uh, talks to... Uh, I said that. So they get to the Old West. And then they get loaded at the bar and get kind of drunk. That's apparently when Sarah thinks the best. And then sees so Jonah Hex, and then we have Moss's uh, send people into town to talk to them and say basically if you don't hand over the totems by the next day, we're going to burn down the entire town. And then we have. Uh, so then we have Ray um, tries to leap um, on the jump ship with Dark when Nate confronts him, but um, he literally punches him, and then Dark and Ray escape. And then we have Amaya is on a spirit quest, and then Nate joins her, and they saw a vision of how the totem people basically uh, formed in a circle to create a being to defeat whatever obstacle they need to defeat. And then, uh, then Hex talks to Zari, and they're slightly flirty, flirty with each other. And then we have Nate is basically high as F when they try to talk to the team, so Maya has to take control and says about what they saw in the vision. And it's going on about uh, Ultron, which, I mean, not Ultron, Voltron, which I was super happy about because I love that show. And then we have... Uh, so anyway, Nate tells the team what to do, and then Sarah says to test it, and so they go to do that. And so basically they all seem, got their minds, so everyone is basically hearing each other's thoughts. So they try to focus, and it's working, but something great happened, and it's some type of weird thing, so uh, Nick put it out of his misery. And then we have Ava brought help, and Jax is back, along with uh, Kawasa, who is nice now because of the timeline, has changed. And then we have, basically, um, let's, and then we also have Helen of Troy. And so that was cool. And so then we have uh, Ray and Dark are basically in some Basie 1992. And basically save Nora, thanks to Ray's weapons to def um, that he used last time. And then basically uh, saved Nora, and basically Miles transferred himself to Dark, to Damian Dark. And then we find out that Kwasa is good, and they she shares a totem with um, Mari, and so they share the vixen role. And then we have uh, Jax is married and has a kid. And then Ray uh, revived Nora, and then uh, basically she's in freak out mode, so she kind he just was just walks her through about what happened and everything and then we have helena is a natural fighter and then um also an awesome shooter like she'll spend hex to shame almost and then we have uh ray is back and then the army shows up and then sarah gives a pet talk then then says right before the commercial break let's think out the back but she actually goes out and does face them and basically tries to uh, leave them out of town with Ava on a horse. And then we have all the fight scenes on the planet happening. And they were all really well done. I was really 
happy about that. It was really good. And then we have Mala's uh, Awakens the Cronies, because basically they defeated all the Cronies, but Mala's woke them back up, so they keep fighting. And then we have... Uh, then we have the Legends redoing the totem, and basically we have the people fighting, and then we have Mala's shows up, and so the people stand down and have a salute type deal. And so the legend, the legends created their, uh, I guess, totem guardian, and it's Bebo. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. I was laughing my little butt off watching this fight between Bebo and Mouse. It was hands down one of the funniest things ever, and I freaking was here for it. I was like, at first, I was like, "Are you kidding?" But when I actually saw that in action, that was hysterical, and I loved it. And then, uh, then basically they finish, <laughs> they finish off Malice and the finishing move with Bebo. Even when they uh, like went to the ground, the um, this, I guess the blue fur basically looked like a heart it would just go, and it was really funny. So then uh, Malice is defeated. And then uh, we have a bureau cleaning up stuff and taking all the appropriate people to the appropriate times of scrapping their memories and everything. And then we have Hex is flirting with Zari and she kind of does it back. And I feel like that's going to be really interesting and, and for the next season because it did get renewed for season four. Yes. And then Ray talks to Nor super quick and gets our time senses make it count and try to do right. And then have Amaya is going home and Nate goes with her to say goodbye. He was originally going to wipe her memories but she advised against it and she said just let me have this. And so they he says they say goodbye. Then the legends decide to all vacation at Aruba. They have Constantine who dresses up who was really Gary dressed up as him shows up as well. And then the real Constantine shows up, and basically other things got out when the models got loose, and shows them a dragon's head. And so I think that's going to be the next adventure, and I'm super excited for it. And that was the end of the episode. So I really, really like this episode. I would give this an A+. I, I really enjoyed it. It was a great season finale, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm very excited to see what's going to happen for next season because um, from what I've read online, I've heard they're going to be doing like um, more mythical type stuff. So that should be cool, like myth mythical creatures. So I kind of like that a lot. So I'm very excited for that. And I think Matt Ryan's supposed to be joining. I don't want to. I don't. I don't think anyone else is joining. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I'm super excited for next season and for everything. So. That's wonderful for this video, so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think. Were you satis satisfied with the season, or how was it for you? And just if any other suggestions for any TV shows or movies, just let me know down below. Also music as well. And I'll see you on the next video, and I want y'all to have a super awesome day, or night, or evening when I watch this. Bye everybody.